Trump berates Georgia Secretary of State, urges him to find votes. Treason is the reason for the season, baby. We have won this election in Georgia based on all of this. And there's, there's nothing wrong with, with saying that, Brad. You know, I mean, having, the, having a correct, you, the people of Georgia are angry. And these oh, numbers man. are going to be repeated on Monday night. I mean, he was right. The people of Georgia were angry. Angry enough that they voted for Biden. <laughs> I believe that's what Umberto Echo calls um, selective populism. No group of people, no mass of people is ever truly unanimous. You can't really claim to have the will of the people on your side because there's always going to be different. There's going to be differences. There's always going to be, you know, the divisions. But if you say, oh, Oh, the people are angry. It's a fascist thing to try to wield the people like that. With others that we're going to have by that time, which are much more substantial even. Oh, and man. the people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. There's nothing wrong with saying that you've recalculated. Uh-huh. Did he think he's like a mob boss? <laughs> if the data you have is wrong. You're wrong. You're no. wrong, Donnie. You're wrong. The numbers don't lie. Do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Because that's what the rumor is. And also that's that bullshit. Dominion took out machines. <laughs> uh, that Dominion is really moving fast to get rid of their uh, machinery. Do you know anything about that? Because <laughs> that's illegal. No, Ryan Germany. No, Dominion is not. Uh, See, it took him a moment. They were like, what the fuck is the president of the United States talking about? Moved machines? What? This is news to us. What are you talking about? But Donnie read it on Twitter and he thought, hey, that sounds good. That's a good, that's a good reason. I'm a narcissist. I can't possibly be wrong. I can't possibly lose. Um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County. We're having well, but no, but, but have they moved, oh, have they have they moved the inner parts of the machines <laughs> and replaced them with other parts? Insane. That is 100% the kind of thing he read on the internet somewhere. No. <laughs> it took him a moment. You sure, Ryan? Are you sure? Maybe Mr. Benjamin here can uh, convince you otherwise. <laughs> you should want to have an accurate election. <laughs> and you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I no, you don't. No, no, no. no. You don't have. No. You don't have. Look. Not even close. Wow. No, we do have it. No, no, no. You don't. No, no. You don't. You don't have. You don't have. You're not even close. Does this sound like a sane man who knows what he's doing? Yes, he's a very stable genius. Not even close. You got, you're off by hundreds of thousands of votes. You know, maybe if you just say it enough, it'll magically become true. Donnie is the kind of guy who, like, grew up. Well, he never grew up. But he's the kind of guy who's never been told no. He's not really used to it. And now that a lot of people are saying no, he can't, he can't comprehend it. You know what they did and you're not reporting it. That's a, you know, that's a criminal, that's a criminal offense. <laughs> and, and, you know, you can't let that happen. That's, that's a. He's threatening them with jail time. A big risk to you and to Ryan, your lawyer. That's a big risk. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they're really afraid. They're really afraid Trump's going to, like, put them in prison, just like he did Hillary Clinton. He's really good on following through with his threats. But they are shredding <laughs> ballots, in my opinion, based on what I've heard. And they are... <laughs> they're shredding ballots in my opinion. <laughs> That's not like an opinion. That's like, did the tree fall? It, it's a yes or no. Either the tree fell or it's it's still standing. It's not, in my opinion, the tree fell over. No, no, no. <laughs> Based on what I've heard. Based on what my sycophants tell me, I couldn't possibly lose. Based on what my narcissistic cocaine addicted brain tells me, I couldn't possibly lose. Uh, removing machinery, uh... And they're moving it as fast as they can, both of which are criminal fines, and you can't let it happen, and you are letting it happen. You know, I mean, I'm notifying you that you're letting it happen. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find... This is so wild that the President of the United States is stooped to this level, just making this shit up. They're moving machinery. I'm telling you it's happening. And it's like, 
I'm here right now. This isn't happening. He's just off his rocker. Man, this must have been what the, like, the last days of Reagan were like. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. <sighs> That'll be what gets you. I just want you to find these votes for me. Come on. Come on. I'm Donald Trump. I made a bunch of casinos and they all went bankrupt. You didn't win the state. So so tell me, Brad, what are we going to do? Uh, we won the election and it's not fair to take it away from us like this. <laughs> it's crying like a baby. We didn't lose. It's We won. It's not fair. <laughs> this is what the Republican Party has become now. The party of Lincoln. We won. No. The party of Lincoln had been co-opted by the same ideology that hated Lincoln. That hated Lincoln, and because Lincoln won, they succeeded from the Union. Same ideology swapped parties. Very costly in many ways, and... <clears throat> I think you have to say that you're going to re-examine it, and you can re-examine it, but, but re-examine it with people that want to find answers, not people that don't want to find answers. Uh, the fuck is that supposed for to instance, mean? I'm hearing Ryan, and he's probably, I'm sure, a great lawyer and everything, but he's making statements about those ballots that he doesn't know. <laughs> Didn't they have, like, three recounts in Georgia? We have now counted legally cast ballots three times, and the results remain unchanged. Oh, oh. It's over, Danny, baby. You're a loser. You lost. Trump coming off as the world's saddest mob boss. Not even a good mob boss. <laughs> even a good mob boss would acknowledge, like, hey, we, we lost this one. It's all right. We'll get him in the next one. He won't be taken to court. Probably not. Maybe God will, though. <laughs> Fat chance. But he's making him with such... He, he did make him with surety, but now I think he's less sure because the answer is they all went to Biden. <laughs> and that alone wins us the election by a lot. What? You know. They're just quiet, and he's like, you know, this doesn't even make sense. But now I think he's less sure because the answer is they all went to Biden. The answer is... And that alone... The answer is they all went to Biden, and that alone wins us the election. He's got Alzheimer's. He's got dementia, man. No. Mr. President, um, they, you don't have even, people that they don't even respond to that. They're just like, you're wrong, Mr. President. I don't know. I don't even call him Mr. President anymore. You have people that submit information, and we have our people that submit information. And then it comes before the court, and the court then has to make a determination. We have to stand by our numbers. We believe our numbers are right. Well, under law, you're not allowed to give faulty election results, okay? You're not allowed to do that, and that's what you've done. <laughs> this is a faulty election result. And honestly, this should go very fast. You should meet tomorrow because you have a big election, election coming up. And because of what you've done to the president, you know, the people have... He's talking about himself in a third person. You know, the people of, of uh, Georgia know that this was a scam. And be I mean, I mean, objectively speaking, the people of Georgia, they know about the scam and they know it's you. It's coming from you, Donnie, because they didn't vote for you. <laughs> and because of what you've done to the president, a lot of people aren't going out to vote. No, they're not going out to vote because of because of Donald Trump's lies about this they think oh well if it's all going to be rigged why should i go vote a lot of republicans are going to vote negative because they hate what you did to the president what does that mean a lot of republicans are going to vote negative oh yeah i'm gonna walk in i'm gonna fill out my ballot and where it says you want to vote republican you want to vote democrat I'm going to say not Republican. I'm going to write that in. It's like I've said before. It doesn't matter whether or not he breaks the law. What matters is whether or not someone is going to hold him accountable. And up to this point, the answer has been nobody will hold him accountable. And if you would be respected, if really respected, <laughs> oh, if this thing could be straightened out before the election. You have a big election coming up on Tuesday. Yeah. All right. 
So as far as I'm concerned, uh, this is racketeering. Donald Trump should be in prison if there were any justice in this world. Anyone who still supports him at this point is an enemy of democracy and an enemy of the United Petering. States of America. Okay, that's the, that's the short and simple of it. You don't like that? Well, you're probably a Tim Pool viewer. Boom, there's the video. Hi, everyone. I'd like to give a special thanks to all of the December patron backers. Dios, Elsie Hupp, George, Jerry Palamo, Laura Day, and Mellow Cheddar. Thanks a lot, everyone. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. I know a lot of crazy things have been happening uh, in the last day or so, uh, <laughs> but we're going to get through it. It'll all work out. Take care of yourselves, everyone.